somebody that can rescue Nigeria. And that is why we all are gathered here today. Because we want to chat away Paul how to bring about the liberation of this country. We are tired of the ruling party. They have failed us. The PDP has failed us. The APC has failed us. I'm not very blunt. They have failed us. And today, the Labour Party is an authoritative force that is here to bring about a viable change. Not the negative change that the APC gave to us, but a change that will be feasible. A change that will impact the lives of Nigerians. A change that will bring about conducive working environment to Nigerians' people. That is why we are here today. My fellow comrades, we are here to brainstorm, to rock minds, to put, to share ideas together on how we can make this work. In as much as we know the campaigns have not started, but we need to be united as one. Because the more we are united, the stronger we will be. There are many support groups today, they have different interests. But all is a singular goal to make sure Peter Bay wins the election and every other country of the party wins. But we must be united to work as one party. And that is why we are here today. You have a change is possible in Nigeria. Do you have a said change is what? Change is possible. There is a country called Garamada. A young man who won election as a prime minister is just 44 years old. His name is Deacon. Now, what it happened? The former prime minister has been in power since 1984. He was elected in the House of Representatives in 1984. And he ruled from 1984 to 1995, 11 years. Then he was made the Prime Minister. His name is Kate Mitchell. He was made the Prime Minister in 1995. Now he ruled from 1995 until 2003. He ruled for about Almost 13 years, 2008, sorry, 2008, 13 years. Now he lost the election in 2008. And in 2013, he came back to power. And he ruled in 2022. And then the youth say enough is enough. Now, Dickon Mitchell won the election in 2002, last June, 44 years. Out of their 15 seats in their House of Representatives, his party won nine, while the incumbent party won six. And he was made the Prime Minister. Why? Because the youth said the no is enough. So I believe today we are here and we are all saying enough. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. When you see proof, God will not appear. If you bring home that God will not appear. But the Bible says, we are two or three are gathered. I am there in the place. Hear me. God is with us. Labour Party is the only party that represents the family. The father, the mother, and the child. You are there, it's either you are a father, or you are a mother, or you are somebody's child, but you must fall among these categories. One of the problems of Nigeria today has been ethnicity. It has been primarism, it has been religion. It has been political structure, in quotes, political structure. And that is why we in Labour Party, we don't have political structure, in quotes. But we have the structure, because you and me are the structure. <laughs> the political structure has kept Nigeria like this. And that is why Labour Party will say, every country... As long as you are a woman, as long as you are a child, you 
by the structure. Yes. We don't have political structure, but we have all of us, and we are the structure. Yes. And with all of us together, we will take over the government house. Yes, sir. Whether they like it or not, we are going to take over. Yes. And that is why we are gathered here today to share ideas to see how we can make this work. We are here to see how we can make what this work. We have to share ideas, to synergize, to see how to be on one page. Because you and me are the structure. I have, if I want to talk, I can talk for two hours. But I've taken up my calling of a pastor. I passed I got a big church. I can talk for two hours if I want. We don't need to write statements. We have what it takes to move this state forward, to move Nigeria forward. That is why we are here, I want to brainstorm. Let us see how we can make this work. You may not understand, we have done a lot. In River State, we have been doing a lot of underground works. But I believe with time, we are going to unfold the plans and the things we've done. But because of time, I will brief you a little. We now have a website in River State, www.fpurivers.com. www.fpurivers.com. And then currently, we are working on an online radio. So we are going to be broadcasting 24 hours live. From the secretaries. <laughs> we have a lot. I don't have much time again because of our time. We are still going to talk. But for now, I welcome you especially. I want to hand over the mic so that other people can talk because if you allow me, I will talk from now to tomorrow. Tell me, we are here because we want a change. Many persons have made sacrifices, not because they love the party, but because they are tired of the narratives and they want to change. So we should keep doing what we are thinking, we should remain resolute, we should remain focused, we should not be discouraged because things that will discourage us will come. The government forces will come, they will try to make us to be discouraged, but we are not giving up. We are here, we are staking our lives in this, we will fight this fight to the end, and come 2023, we will clinch the government house. Thank you, and thank you very much.